In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for BrF2 minus. To do that, first let's count up the valence electrons in this BrF2 minus ion. We can see that bromine, that's in group 7A, called 17 also, and bromine has seven valence electrons. Fluorine, that's in the same group, so it'll also have seven valence electrons. We do have two fluorines. And this negative sign, that's an extra electron. When we see a negative sign, electrons are negative, we have an extra electron in this Lewis structure. So that gives us 7 plus 21, 22 total valence electrons for the BrF2 Lewis structure. Bromine is less electronegative than fluorine, so we'll put the bromine in the center of our Lewis structure, and we'll put the fluorine atoms on either side. Next, we'll take electrons, pair of electrons, put them between atoms to form the chemical bonds. So we've used four, and remember we have 22 total valence electrons. Then we'll go around the outside of each of the atoms to complete the octet. And at this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. So we'll complete the octet on the bromine, 18, and then 20. And that looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. Each of the atoms here has eight valence electrons. But remember, we have 22 total valence electrons, so we have two extra valence electrons, and we need to put them somewhere. When we have bromine here, it can actually have what's called an expanded octet. So we can put these extra electrons here on the bromine atom, and it now has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, but that's okay. It has an expanded octet. The fluorine atoms, they're also okay. They have an octet. So this is a pretty good Lewis structure for BrF2-. Fluorine obeys the octet rule, so the only place we could put these two electrons here is on the bromine. We should also put brackets around the Lewis structure here for BrF2- to show that it's an ion, that it has that negative charge there. And then on the outside, we'll write this negative here. And that is the Lewis structure for BrF2-. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.